and new sanctions already being issued a day after Secretary of State Mike Pompeo's tough talk on Iran. Manila Chan's been following the story and joins us with more tonight. Manila? Good evening. At just hours after Mike Pompeo issued his list of U.S. demands, Iranian President Rouhani had this to say. Who are you to decide about Iran? Who are you to decide about the world? He has returned to strange statements. He says you should have light water and not heavy water. You shouldn't have enrichment and should have other stuff. Come on, that was in the past. It's over now. But that was really polite language from Rouhani, much stronger language from a senior Iranian military commander who says America's top diplomat, Mike Pompeo, deserves a punch to the mouth over his threat to crush Iran. But today, a new set of sanctions against five Iranian officials were announced by the Treasury Department, who allege these five men supported and supplied Houthi rebels in Yemen with ballistic missiles, missiles that were reportedly launched towards Riyadh, but intercepted. Treasury, Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin said the United States will not tolerate Iranian support for Houthi rebels who are attacking our close partner, Saudi Arabia. All countries in the region should be on guard to prevent Iran from sending its personnel, weapons, and funds in support of its proxies in Yemen. Now, according to the Treasury Department website, all property and interest and interest in the pro in properties of these five individuals are hereby blocked and all persons and business entities are generally prohibited from engaging in any transactions with them and conducting business with any of these individuals could result in sanctions against them here in the US at least so Ed these five men, they're all high-ranking Iranian uh, Revolutionary Guard officials. Uh, the U.S. putting a financial squeeze on these guys, sort of as a warning shot to the government as a whole if the U.S. demands are not going to be met. Well, they are demands. Thank you, Manila.